Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planting video. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I am actually going to be talking all about my Alocasia stingray. I've been doing a few of these videos lately where I just kind of like focus in on one plant and just talk about a little bit about its story and how I care for it. So today I'm going to be talking about my beautiful Alocasia stingray. I've had quite a few of you request that I talk about this one. So yeah, and I am more than happy to do that. I really love this plant and we have had a little bit of a journey together, which I will talk about now. Okay, let me try to set it down, maybe there. Okay, I'm filming in my kitchen because the lighting is just like really good in here right now. So we're just going with it. Maybe I'll move this a little bit. Eh, there we go. Okay, so I have had this plant for, I'm gonna say close to two years now, probably a year and a half between a year and a half and two years and I got it just from a big box store I believe I got it at Canadian Tire and this was a plant that I had really wanted because I was seeing it on Instagram and I was getting more into kind of like unique and uncommon plants um, however I wouldn't really classify this plant as really uncommon where, where, whoop, where I live because I do see them pop up quite a bit now but it is like a more different alocasia so I really wanted it I brought it home and then I discovered that it was infested with thrips you guys oh my gosh like could there be anything worse for it to be infested with I honestly don't think so um, so to this day, that is the only time I've had thrips, uh, <laughs> knock on wood, um, and it was a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you. Um, actually it could have been worse because it could have spread to my other plants and it didn't, thank god. Um, I was very good about isolating this plant, I did not let it near my other plants, and I was like fairly consistent with the treatment, I treated it just with a, like, neem oil and soap solution, I think. This was like yeah almost a couple of years ago so but I think that's what I did and I just did it consistently like a couple times a week and it took months to get rid of you guys every time I would think that this thing was thrip free uh, I would find more so yeah and thrips are very destructive um, they do a lot of damage on the leaves it's funny because I don't think that this is any of its original leaves but this is a little bit I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that is kind of what thrip damage looks like maybe this was a leaf from when it had thrips I don't know but see how it has like those yellow spots um, that's like what thrip damage looks like so so fast forward a few months and eventually it was thrip free and you know we were doing great we were loving life However, I did fall out of love with this plant just a little bit because I found that it was always drooping over and um, it was growing but it was always losing leaves and it just never looked super happy and in stores or on Instagram I would see people's plants with these like huge beautiful leaves and I was just like wondering why mine didn't look like that. So eventually I ended up putting it on this steak. Um, this is just like a little bamboo steak that I got from like the dollar store but um yeah it's like kind of strange to stake an alocasia i'm aware of that but it's not for it to climb it's just to keep it kind of upright however i honestly could probably take the stake out because i kind of solved the problem um by putting it closer to a grow light and on the floor so the grow light is above so that it really has to like grow straight upwards to get to the light and i found that that's been helping so much like if you look at this new growth it's very erect if you will um it just wants to face the grow light and these new leaves are very large as well if you look at them this is the newest leaf here it's very it's not very large but it's a lot larger than the older ones and this is another one so pretty i just washed this in the shower because it was so dusty um but yeah there's another one and if you compare that to like its old leaves like this is how small the old leaves were it's very cute but I really wanted those big leaves and yeah I'm just so so stoked that it's been giving me that so those are the things that I changed regarding the care I moved it closer to a grow light gave it that stake and I just started to honestly just give it more attention so I made sure that it was kept moist I don't let this plant dry out I think that this yellowing that like looks like the thrip damage I think that that is from letting it dry out too much I'm trying to be a lot better about like staying on top I did let it dry out like 
completely bone dry um, recently and a lot of the leaves got these kind of yellow spots but when I am consistent with the watering you guys it stays very happy so I suggest keeping it like somewhat moist just don't let it like completely dry out at least not for too long um, and it will be happy with you I fertilize it the same as most of my plants I just fertilize lightly with every water this thing is growing so much you guys um, honestly all the time <laughs> it just put out this new leaf here and this leaf is actually very cool because if you look over here it has a little spot of sport variegation um, so if you can see that little light light green spot there so it's just like a random a random little beauty mark that it got I doubt it's going to like get any more of that it's not like it's like actually variegated or anything but it was still like really cool to see just because I haven't had that happen before so I just thought that that was so neat and I'm also so impressed with this right now because it has 10 leaves you guys and alocasia are um notorious for dropping their leaves when they put out a new one but this one has been hanging on to all of its leaves it has not been dropping leaves at all so um yeah it's just so crazy you can see those ones in the lower it looks so crazy it looks like it's like flying around um and then i guess swimming uh stingray um yeah this is such a weird picture to like show on the camera a weird picture what <laughs> a weird plant um because some of the leaves are like pointing that one is like missing half of its wing not too sure what happened there but you know that's okay um yeah so what else um as you can see i have it potted in this plastic pot and i can see i'm not really sure why i put it in this plastic pot i mean i guess to like retain moisture um but yeah you can see some of the roots on the outside which is pretty cool um, I'm excited to look for bulbs whenever I have to up-pot this. It does not look like it's going to need an up-pot anytime soon though. Since this is an alocasia, it is prone to pests like spider mite and thrips. So it is one that I will occasionally prophylactically just spray down with my neem oil solution or whatever. Um, whatever you use. And, you know, I have not had any pest problems since that original thrip thing from when, from when it came from the store. Um, yeah, that was the only thing I've dealt with, uh, with this plant and I've just been like, you know, after that happened, I was, I became like pretty diligent about checking the leaves and just looking for any signs of pests and so far so good. So yeah, like I said, I moved it to higher lighting. Um, honestly, like this thing can tolerate pretty high light and I have noticed that the leaves get a lot larger with the higher light. So, I mean, I don't think I would like scorch it in complete sunlight, but, um, like pretty pretty bright indirect light maybe but yeah it's a lovely plant it's really unique um just like the leaves are so cool let me know i'm curious because i don't see i mean i sometimes see people post about this plant but i don't see it often and i'm wondering like are these available where you live are they something that you commonly come across um i'm just curious also let me know if you have one and if you have any tips let me know how yours is doing how you care for it i would love to chat about that all right guys thank you so much for watching make sure you give this a like make sure you subscribe to my channel for more planty content i have a patreon for bonus content and i also have merch it is all linked down in the description box okay bye